Can you imagine a plant that could eat a dog? Do you remember your biology class from elementary school? Let's test your knowledge today. Do you know how plants feed? The answer is quite simple, they convert sunlight into food in a process called photosynthesis, to grow and maintain its color. But, we all know that there are some plants that need much more than sunlight to have all their nutrients. These are carnivorous plants. These carnivorous plants are amazing yet deadly, and I don't blame you if you fear them. Who wouldn't be terrified by the idea of a meat-eating plant that also moves? But, I assure you that it is unlikely that you end up in the stomach of one of these plants, since they normally feed on insects. It's time for us to discover together what the world of botany has to offer, so get ready to meet the most terrifying carnivorous plants in the world. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned, hiding throughout the video. Utricularia You can find the Utricularia or bladderwort plant in lakes, ponds and in wet soils, these are his favorite environments. This plant cannot obtain enough nutrients from the soil and water. So the plant transforms its leaves into small traps known as bladders. And with these, it can trap microscopic beings, mosquitoes and water fleas. The bladders are shaped like small cups and work like this. The bladder pumps water outward to cause a pressure change, and it also has small pressure sensitive fibers. When one of these fibers detects a water flea, the bladder opens and sucks up all the water including the poor flea. Once inside, the flea is digested while still alive. Wouldn't it be scary if a plant like these were the size of a human? Drosera It is sad to see how a small bug can fall into the traps of carnivorous plants. They are deceived and they are attracted by sugars, this is the case of the Drosera or better known as sundew. Its name sounds very beautiful compared to what this plant really does to feed. Its feeding system is rather slow and relaxed, unlike other carnivorous plants. The leaves of the sundew are covered by mucilaginous glands, or, rather, a slimy and sticky substance that is responsible for trapping its prey slowly. The bug in its desperation tries to flee. But the only thing it manages to do is get in contact with more of this substance. Then, the sundew just has to contract or roll up to be able to digest its prey. A slower but safer diet. Fungi catches earthworms. I will ask you a quick question to see if you answer it well. Are fungi plants or are they animals? The answer is neither one. Mushrooms have their own kingdom of nature, the fungi kingdom, in addition to their own classification of species with different characteristics. Mushrooms feed in different ways, and one of them is the consumption of meat, specifically earthworms. The underground mycelium of these fungi may have rings that close down, trapping the worm as it passes between them. Then, the fungus slowly consumes it, absorbing all its nutrients. These fungi only make the rings when they detect this type of prey in the soil where they are found. Waradula We are going to talk about one of the largest carnivorous plants in the world. Its name is Waradula, and it is incredibly tall, it can be as tall as a Christmas tree. Most of the Roradula is covered by shorter tentacles, which have glue or slimy substance at its tip. This substance is in charge of trapping their prey and does not allow them to flee, but it doesn't end there. The Roradula has a henchman, called Pameridia, some small bugs that are responsible for ending the life of the prey in addition to sucking their nutrients. But, in what way is the Roradula fed? Surprisingly, it feeds on the fecal remains of the Pameridias and bugs it traps, these remains fall, and is where the Roradula can absorb them and manage to feed. A very unpleasant way of eating, right? Odri and Heliamphora plants The Odri plant groups many species of carnivorous plants that share a particularity, its leaves are shaped like a vase. In addition to having a unique appearance, pitcher plants are lethal to many insects, reptiles, and small mammals. How does it catch and feed on them? It chokes them with rainwater that falls inside, and then digests them. These plants can also feed on animal feces such as that of bats through a cooperative relationship. Bats sleep inside the plant, the plant protects them from parasites, and feeds on the small animal's droppings. The Heliamphora, although also shaped like a jug, does not belong to the Apidae plants group. Even so, they trap their prey in the same way, the difference is that they depend on external bacteria to break down food for them, to then be able to digest it. Strangler 
Like out of a horror movie, the strangler fig or strangler is something like a parasite that lives in the rainforest. When a bird plants a strangler seed in a tree, its first mission is to reach the ground. Once he has access to the earth, he sends roots outside the tree, strangling it, taking control of it, and gaining access to the sun, finally. Exterminating its host. The strangler has fulfilled its mission, it has gained one more space in the immensity of the jungle. Venus flytrap. The flytrap plant is the carnivorous plant that we all know and love. Well, love may not be the right word, but it is the most common carnivorous plant for us and the one that many people buy to have it in their garden. Its leaves are shaped like a mouth, with a kind of jaw and teeth like spikes. Inside it has sensitive fibers that detect the presence of insects. In addition to attracting them with the smell of sweet nectar, and with a blue glow that only prey sees. When an insect activates the fibers, the jaws close completely and do not open until the prey is fully digested. A curious, and really terrifying fact about this plant is that it can digest human flesh, but only in small amounts. So don't let the plant take a bite out of you. Mushrooms that kill with a net. Imagine a practically unbreakable network, whose sole objective is to catch its prey in order to feed, that is the work of Arthrobotrys oligospora, which is capable of living in the soil, in the feces of animals, even in freshwater and seawater. There it feeds on decomposing vegetation. This fungus is capable of absorbing substances from the urine and sweat of mammals, this stimulates the production of its adhesive networks. These sticky nets are created in a ring shape, and in a three-dimensional shape, making it impossible for its food to escape from there. The favorite species of the oligospora is worms. Piranha plants from Mario Brothers. I have no doubt that you ever got to play at least one of the famous Mario Brothers video games, and I can also assure you that you recognize the famous piranha plants that can harm you if you let them catch you in games. At first glance, and because of their function, it seems that piranha plants are based on the Venus flytrap, but in their appearance, they can become similar to Rafflesia arnoldi, a parasitic plant that lives in the forests of Indonesia. This plant is giant with a thick red flower with lighter colored dots. Although in games these plants can devour anything that crosses their path, in reality, carnivorous plants feed on very small organisms, so do not fear, the piranha plant cannot hurt you. Bleeding Tooth Fungus You are walking in the forest. When suddenly you see on the ground what looks like a cupcake with strawberry jam on top. Intriguing, right? Emerging from beneath the pine needles in the ground, this out-of-place object you see, is the bleeding tooth fungus. It gets its name from the reddish liquid that is in its pores, thus giving the appearance of blood. Deep in the pine forest in North America in 1913, mycologist Howard James Banker discovered and classified it. Mycology oversees the study of fungi, like the portobello mushrooms you eat grilled. Its appearance may be a cupcake lover's delight since the bleeding tooth fungus is not poisonous, and although its taste is described as very bitter pepper, please do not try to eat it. Forest mushrooms can be very dangerous to humans. This mushroom can also be used to obtain colors for dyeing or cooking. Next time you hike in the pine forest of Europe and the Pacific Northwest of the United States, see if you can find them. Carnivorous plants were not as we imagined them, right? We have been told about them as a predator that can swallow a human in a matter of seconds. And the reality is very different, some are quieter when it comes to going to dinner. Some prefer to wait for their prey to fall into the trap, others, become parasites and strangle their prey. They are savages for sure. There are a diversity of plants and fungi in our environment, and regardless of their size or diet, we must respect their space and not see them as invaders. Because we are the real invaders. I hope you enjoyed this video about the different species of carnivorous mushroom predators and plants. Until next time. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe, so you can get instant notifications for all our new videos.